Hi, it's Mark Ganser from EAC Product Development Solutions with this week's Tip of the Week. Did you know that you can define how a model looks on screen through its properties file? Yeah, the same file you use to set density, Young's modulus, all that terribly exciting stuff, Poisson's ratio, can also be used to set how a model appears. So, if you set something to be a certain type of material, it changes the appearance on screen. Saves you a step, also enforces consistency. If you want everybody who sets some sort of material to be red plastic to have that part change and look like red plastic, you can do that for them. So let's show you how do you do this. First of all, let's open up one of the parts themselves. Let's open up this piece, this cover on the side of this engine. And let's say that's going to be maybe a gold anodized aluminum. So I'm going to go where we set this in Creo. Go to Prepare, Model Properties. First line in here in Materials is Material File. Let's change that. Brings us into this editor. So let's go ahead and grab this aluminum 6061. I'm going to select that. With that picked, I'm going to grab this little pencil icon and we're going to edit that. Now when you go into the Material Definition GUI, there's all kinds of stuff here. Poisson's Ratio, Young's Modulus, none of it very sexy. There's some miscellaneous properties as well and I'm going to fill in a few of these so it doesn't bark at me when it sees those are empty. Well, let's just do that real quick. Condition? Sure, why not? There we go. So let's go back to this appearance. Now when I'm into this appearance I can say I want to set an appearance for this material. And here I can go into my appearances editor and let's look at the metals and let's change that to show the thumbnails and the names too. Let's say we want this to look like anodized aluminum, so I'm going to pick that. It appears in the GUI here, I pick this, set it as the default, say OK, you can see it's changed in the background. I want to save this as a new material. I don't want it to do it for all this, so I'm going to hit this arrow to push it back into the standard area here and let's make this 6061 let's say anodized on the end and let's put this with the rest of the materials I'm running it out of the box right now so I'll put it where the out of the box files are put these wherever you want if you have your own definition and your own materials and your own appearances as well there we go there they are now the benefit to this where we save this new material, let's use that, let's assign that guy, there we go, is I've created a new material not just for this but any place I want to use it. So let's go back to our overall assembly. Let's say this other piece is going to be anodized aluminum as well, this other cover. So let's open him up. Move that off to the side so you can still see it when we've got the window in front of it. Change its model properties and let's change him to use that anodized aluminum. As you can see in the background, it just changed color and appearance by changing the material file. Very nice way of saving you a step plus when somebody sets their uh, part to a certain material, it changes the appearance the same way for everybody. They're all using the same material. They all get the same appearances. Now, if you have any questions about this tip or any other tip, feel free to reach out to me or anybody else at EAC. Better yet, leave a comment in the comments area below this video, and we'll get right back to you. Thanks, and have a great rest of your day.